I think learning is actually sexier than sex. Sometimes when I'm learning something, I'm actually hyperventilating. I'm not kidding. Whether it's in a classroom or in my uh, office at home or a public square, there's something breathless to me about taking on new ideas. It's like the accumulated sludge in my head is getting dislodged and sent on its way by shards of new concepts like slivers and blocks of slate. Oh, God, what is this stuff? Yeah! Exactly. For instance, recently I watched one of those nature documentaries on PBS. It was called Raccoon Nation. And I had to watch, uh, not only because I have regular visits from raccoons in my house, but because on one occasion I had a very close encounter with the little Mr. Bandit Face, who was sitting on the balcony off my kitchen at about 9 o'clock at night, happily devouring a rat. And just to add to the insanity... He kept trying to get through the glass sliding door into my kitchen to join me, and he wanted to share this this morsel with me. And I think maybe he he, he could have noticed the uh, the dining room table and maybe thought it would be an elegant dining experience to sit up there with his with his creature. <laughs> uh, I, I, I learned something amazing about uh, raccoons, and that is that Japan never had any raccoons, but uh, a cartooning guy invented a pet raccoon uh, based on something he'd seen in America, and that pet raccoon took off, and like millions of little uh, Japanese kids had to have this, this toy pet raccoon. So some enterprising guy in Japan brought in a raccoon or two from the United States, and pretty soon... Uh, there were all kinds of raccoons, and pretty soon people realized that having a raccoon is not such a good idea as a pet. They're actually pests. So they released these things into the forests in Japan, and pretty soon uh, 10 or 20 raccoons were 10 or 20 thousand, million, hundred, zillion raccoons. And what do you think these raccoons did? Well, they started hanging out in the ancient Shinto temples. I'm not making this up. This is all true. And they started devouring the wood of the Shinto temples and leaving their feces in urine. And the raccoons, which began with a cartoon, basically have destroyed 80% of the Shinto temples. Uh, unbelievable stuff. Uh, I keep studying Italian off and on because I keep going there. And every time I learn a bit more, I'm absolutely ridiculously thrilled, even with my Mandarin, which isn't that great. I'm thrilled when I'm able to say anything or learn anything. My aunt and uncle were both very rich and very brilliant, and they loved learning. And so when they were retired, uh, they used to monitor courses at UBC because you could do that without, you know, you don't have to write an exam, so you don't have to pay. And they urged me over dinner one night, surrounded by all these, this incredible art that these famous artists had given them, uh, and they said, oh, David, you've got to study Greek mythology. It's amazing. Everybody is stooping everybody else, girls, boys, uh, sheep, <laughs> my goodness, pickle. Learning a new thing can be almost muscular, like playing football or tennis, and it can be like jazz or improv comedy. You have no idea of what's coming next. But as Sondheim and Bernstein said at the end of, uh, at the beginning of West Side Story, you can be sure it's going to be great.